What's up family, Pastor Jay here. Just wanna take this time to encourage you, uplift you, inspire you as we all continue to go through this storm that we are experiencing. I truly believe that God has a word for our worries, that God moves in the mess that we may experience, that God speaks to us in our storms. And I have a scripture I wanna read for you today found in Philippians chapter four, verse 13, where Paul writes to the church in Philippi and says, I can do all things through Christ, who gives me strength. I really love that because Paul is writing while he's in prison. He is isolated, he's dealing with persecution, he's dealing with social distancing, but he still finds the time to write to the church in Philippi and to encourage them while they're going through. He says that I truly believe that God who begins a good work in you will complete it on the day of Jesus Christ. He goes on to say that we should have the same mind that Jesus Christ has, the same mind that Christ has also should be in us. He goes on to say that we uh, press forward to the mark of the high calling of Jesus Christ. And then by the time we get to chapter four, Paul says, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. It reminds me of growing up in the Johnson household. My father had a huge love and continues to have a big love for superheroes, Spider-Man, Batman, all the superheroes. And one of my favorite superheroes of them all, classic. Superman. Superman was faster than a speeding bullet. Superman was so cool. Matter of fact, Superman, although he was so strong, he had a weakness in kryptonite. I didn't know if you know this or not, but he had a weakness in kryptonite. Whenever the enemy got a hold of kryptonite in whatever form it was in, it always shut Superman down. He went from being so strong to being so weak. He went from being so fast to being so slow. He went from getting the victory to then looking to Defeated. Whenever he was exposed to kryptonite, his weakness was exposed. But then whenever Superman had an opportunity to get exposure to the sun, he was able to get his strength back again. So much so that in some times, in some episodes, he looked defeated. But then Superman will find the strength to get back up, to stand back up, to jump back up. And the closer he got to the sun, the stronger he became. The more exposure he got to the sun, the faster he became. Because despite of his weakness, he understood that his strength resides in the sun. And I truly believe that during this time, the enemy has has exposed our weakness. Despite of everything that has been shut down, we can be honest that we felt weak, we felt afraid, we felt depressed, we felt un uneasiness and uncertainty and anxiousness. But when you and I get exposure to the Son of God, God has a way through Jesus Christ to giving us the strength that we need. I truly believe that this is a perfect time for all of us to get exposure to the Son. Bring your family into the Son. Bring your money into the Son. Bring your job into the Son. Bring your future, your destiny into the Son. And the more exposure we get to the Son of God, God gives us the strength that we need to overcome Come our weakness and to experience victory in Jesus Christ. Let me pray for you. Dear Heavenly Father, we want to say thank you for the power of your word. We want to apologize for allowing our weaknesses to get the best of us. And so God, I pray in the name of Jesus that we use this time to get closer to the sun. I pray God that we get more exposure to the sun through prayer, through worship, through the power of your word, through the preached word. And so God, I pray in Jesus name that despite of the weaknesses that we may experience, we know that we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. We believe it in Jesus name. Amen.